All right, let's take a look at how to graph a logarithmic function. So we have here the g of x is the log base 2 of x plus 1. So it's going to be that basic shape of a logarithm, which tapers off as you go to the right. But we do have one transformation, which is this plus 1. Now the 1 is going to shift it one unit. And in this case, see how that 1 is in there with the x? It's going to shift it in the x direction, which means right or left. And because it is a plus 1, it's going to shift it one unit to the left. OK, that's the only transformation, so none of these other ones apply. Let's check our answer. Fantastic. All right, now they want us to graph it. Graph the function. Also graph the asymptote. OK, so here's the graph. We're going to click on the graph. And it's going to have some options pop up down here. Right, and we want to find the logarithm right here. See, it says logarithmic tool. Click on that. And then you can click anywhere in the graph. And it's going to pop up your basic logarithm. I'll click it up here just to show you. It doesn't matter where you click. It gives you the basic logarithm like that. Now, very nice of them. See, the base 2 is already in there. OK, very nice of them to do that for us. And now we have to shift it one unit to the left. So that is going to be a horizontal shift. And we're going to go 1 to the left. So that's a negative 1. And then watch the graph move. See it move one to the left? All right. So the logarithm is in there. But it's going to tell me I'm wrong until I graph the asymptote. Now the asymptote is going to be right here. Because this graph gets closer and closer and closer to negative 1, but never actually touches or crosses. So I need to grab my line, line tool right here. And I'm going to graph a line right here. Now this line has to be a dashed line because it's an asymptote. So let me make sure there's my dashed line. See my solid line, my dashed line. I had to hit it a few times. Let's check the answer. Well done. All right. Uh, they ask us a few more questions here. What is the vertical asymptote? Well, it's right here. And it's going to be an x equals. Vertical lines are x equals. Horizontal lines are y equals. And x, no matter where your y is, x is always negative 1. So x equals negative 1. Check our answer. Well done. What is the domain? Well, looking at the graph, this graph gets closer and closer and closer to negative 1, but never actually touches. And it goes all the way forever. So it's going to go to infinity. OK, so my domain is going to be open parentheses, starts at negative 1. Okay, It doesn't hit negative 1, so I use parentheses instead of a bracket. And then it goes all the way to infinity. And to do the infinity, it's right down here. you got to click the button. Check it. Good job. And then what is the range? And you can see that this graph goes down forever to negative infinity. And it's never going to stop going up. It goes up to positive infinity. OK, so that's all real numbers. Get our parentheses. We will do negative infinity and then positive infinity. Uh, nice work. Excellent. All right. Smiley face. <laughs>